Hey guys, this is JC from Cardviler back at it again with another Despia update. So this one's going to be the third variant that I do like more now. So it was brave. It was super pure, no engines, no fright for stuff. And then this one, this one's brand new. So um, we'll find out here in a little bit what's so brand new about it. Um, it's for anyone who does play this deck or is familiar with the deck. It isn't brand new at all, but you know what I mean. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started with the monsters. And then after this, I'll showcase a few combos that you guys probably already all know and some combos that you might not know. And after that, uh, we'll just, just do some closing thoughts and let me know what you think. All right, let's go ahead and start. So first we have our monster lineup. And that will be your normal Aluber, right? Triple Aluber. Pretty standard by now that you need three, Alu three Alubers. And if you didn't already know, Gamer's Choice has Alubers for 25 bucks for pre-order. Don't know if that's worth it or not, but I think it, it is. Uh, ad lib, just one. I wanted to add Dramaturge in here, but I, I think I'd go to 41 if I were to. Because right now, this is a 40 card build. Uh, and then I dropped comedy and I put in the third tr uh, tragedy again. And then that's it for our Despia lineup. And then we have our Fallen of Albaz. So that's two Fallen of Albaz. And then this was kind of inspired by the YCS win in Bogota. But I'll be in the Shroud of Dragon. He makes a really good uh, recycling of your hand. So like if you don't open a not so good hand, you can use him. Dump a branded opening or whatever. And then you can draw a card, put him in the bottom of the deck. All right. And then our honorary Fallen of Albaz, the Light Hex Sealed Fusion. Yep. Some people don't like it. Some people do like it. I like it because I do love my Dragoon. So I, I do play Dragoon in this deck still. And then we have Edgem Chain. So this is the brand new stuff. So uh, I do play two. I could go to three as well. So I could go to three Edgem Chain. And one uh, one Dramaturge, but I think I'm going to opt to play two for now. And then play in a tournament this weekend. Unfortunately, I only play remotes because I am in Japan. So that's uh, one of the drawbacks about living in Japan. All right, moving on, we got the hand traps. We have Triple Ash. And then we have two Ghost Bell. These are also cross out targets. And then one effect Valor, and that will be our monster lineup. So let's go ahead and put that away and move on to spells. All right, pretty standard build. So it's triple branded fusion, and this is the fight for variant. So it will have the polymerizations. Uh, triple branded opening, really good to dump off Albion because I mean, if you don't even open branded opening and you get it in the graveyard, you have graveyard protection or. Destruction protection for your fusion monsters. And last but not least, triple branded in red. Uh, you go to three if you play the uh, the pure variant or the Pfeiffer variant, in my opinion. You could play two if you wanted to. And then uh, the branded lost, the deck's own version of Magical Meltdown. And then that's it for the branded spells. Next up, we only play two Pfeiffer patchwork. I do believe that this needs to be a three, just like with Edom Chain, but we'll see from here and then I'll probably adjust as needed. And then our polymerizations, and that's it for the fight for stuff. As far as power cards, uh, we have cross out designator at three. I was playing this at two. I could drop this down to two if I wanted to, but I think three is good. And then foolish burial, dumpster tragedy, Dumps whatever you need. And then do not dump Edgem Chain. That is a big misplay. And then we have two Super Polys. This could be sided out or taken out at all uh, completely. So I could add in the Dramaturge and maybe the third Pfeiffer patchwork or the Edgem Chain. I don't know. Let me, let me know down in the sections below. And then we have one trap card, and that is Infinite Impermanence. All right. So... Um, for most of you guys that know how my channel works, 
I do these depth profiles and then I do a quick test hand. So here is our test hand. And then at the end, I'll showcase a few combos. But before we move on, that is from the main deck, we have the extra deck. So we'll start with the big, the big bad cards first. So one red eyes, dark dragoon. And then I wanted to put back the second chimera back in. So we're playing two chimera. And then our super poly targets or just any fusions, right? Um, we got Predator Plan, Dragostopalia, uh, Starving Venom, and that's pretty, basically it because everything else is kind of a low-key super poly target since a lot of people are playing this deck now. All right, now we're going to go into some more. So Despian Quaeritus. Quaeritus is great for to bring out any Despian monster you might need to special summon. Uh, also really good for the OTK because it turns everything off that's not a fusion monster. Or level eight fusion monster to zero attack, and then I put Priskinian back in. I could change that out for something else. Um, I like it. It's a burn, and it can steal monsters off your uh, opponent's graveyard. And we have one Lubellian. So if Priskinian does get the uh, the cut again, it will be another Lubellian. So that's gonna be two Lubellian. But right now I'm only playing one. And then two Masquerade, I upped it back to two because I missed that nice 1200 burn, you know? It's great against uh, a lot of combo decks, especially like based. Uh, I haven't really faced off against based a lot. I think I've faced off against it like once or twice, but I know for a fact that any combo deck that requires at least five com uh, five effects will die to, do to two Masquerades. All right, we have two Albion. Pretty standard. I do see people that play three. I do feel like two is what's this, the right standard ratio. And then we have double Mirror Jade. And last but not least, we have Relinquished Anima. That's just to get our uh, branded in red plays in case uh, we draw a tragedy and nothing else and a branded in red. So that's it for the extra deck. And we'll go ahead and start this test hand. All right. So I do play remote. So let's do that nice cut in half and top five to the bottom. All right, there we go. I wish I was back in the States for this. I would love to play some, uh, some good old paper. All right. So, let's start our test hand. Let's go ahead and draw our five. We got a polymerization. Another polymerization. What is this? Branded fusion. A luber. Okay, we already have our combo. And our edge of chain. Okay, perfect. So, we could bait out with a luber. Normal summon it. If it gets destroyed, whatever. We have branded fusion. If it gets negated by ash, whatever. We have Edge and Chain as well. We can Polymerization, Aluber, Edge and Chain together. All right. So, draw phase, right? Standby phase, main phase. We'll go first. So, that's normal summon Aluber. Effect. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and pretend like our opponent bricked. Be best case scenario, right? We live in a perfect world. We'll go ahead and grab our branded in red. In this case, what we're going to do is actually, um, <laughs> let's do branded fusion. Okay. And we're going to dump a Luber and Despian Tragedy instead of our Light Hex Seal fusion. So, Fallen Valbaz. Sorry, did I say a Luber? I meant Fallen of Valbaz. Albaz and Dustbean Tragedy, so we can make Lobelian, right? So we're gonna make Lobelian. Again, if you if you see any misplays that I make, let me know, please, because I am not a perfect person. I'm still, you know, learning this deck, and yeah. So Lobelian, right? So it'd be Chain Link One. Uh. 
Tragedy, Chain Link 2, Lebellion, it's whatever you want. But I think the right Chain Link here would be Lebellion 1 and Tragedy 2. Alright, so we're going to discard for cost. Since we did get two polymerizations, we're going to have to dump one polymerization into the graveyard. I know we, we could probably capitalize on Edgem Chain, but we would have nothing after that. <clears throat> so we're going to resolve Tragedy, and we're going to grab Adlib. It's pretty standard play, since this is the test hand. Um, we just happen to f open full combo, kind of. All right Now, Lobelian, we're going to... Get Fallen Valve Albaz and Lobelian shuffle back into the decks, and we're gonna make Mirror Jade. At this point, you have Mirror Jade already, right? So, what you could do is just honestly, you could Polymerization, right? Polymerization, Aluber, Edge and Chain, go to the graveyard, cool, whatever. And we can make Masquerade. <clears throat> now, Mirror Jade should be searching us um, branded in red by making uh, it banish Masquerade. But since we didn't need to, since we already have branded in red because of our Luber, we'll just go ahead and set that card. And this will set us a play to banish a card. And if we're playing against combo deck, a, a combo deck, we can make a second masquerade with ad lib. So all we have to do is on our opponent's turn. So we pass turn from here. It's not much. We have 600 burn, whatever. And then we have one banish, right? And potentially a red geki on the board. So on our opponent's turn, we would go ahead and shotgun the branded in red. We will target our tragedy. That way we can search another aluber for our opening hand next turn so aluber or tragedy and ad lib go back into my hand and i can fuse these two away by banishing them making another masquerade now there's going to be a bunch of triggers here so it'd be tragedy and ad lib so it'd be chain link one tragedy chain link two ad lib and this is good because we can special summon our Luber already. And this will trigger after the, the effect resolves. So tragedy will search us another Luber. <laughs> so here we go. So we'll get our Luber, right? And then a uh will resolve as well. So we'll go ahead and search our branded lost since we already have some stuff but i think at this point we could go for branded fusion so we can secure our play from there right and then on our next turn if our board survives right we can normal summon a luber and get branded lost And that's it right there so we still have an emz right there so if we if we really wanted to we could go ahead and just fusion summon over there with branded fusion but first we'll activate branded lost and then after that we'll just go for the kill so that was the test hand and a little bit about the combo that i would have shown you guys and here in a little bit i'll show you guys All right, guys, we are at the combo section. This is just going to be one combo showcase, showcasing three cards. We're, we have a Luber, Branded Fusion, and Edom Chain. You guys kind of saw a little bit of that combo earlier in the test hand, but um, instead of grabbing Branded in red, we are going to grab Branded, uh, branded Lost. And then at the end phase, we'll end up with a Branded in red. All right, so... We'll go ahead and normal summon a Luber and we'll grab Brandon Lost. So now we got Brandon Lost. We'll all go ahead and activate Brandon Lost. All right? So this will protect our Brandon Fusion somewhat. So we'll go ahead and activate Brandon Fusion. So 
We'll dump our tragedy and our Al Albaz. <laughs> Fallen of Albaz. So tragedy and Fallen of Albaz will get dumped to the graveyard, right? And we're going to make our Lebellion. So Lebellion is going to be made. So it's going to be chain link one, chain link two. Uh, so Lebellion, chain link one, tragedy, chain link two. So we're going to discard our Edom chain and then tragedy will search our. What am I doing? Our ad lib. So Lebellion is going to fuse, right? And we're going to shuffle the Fallen of Albaz and the Lebellion back into the decks. Put that right there. So now we have ad lib, right? And then we're going to make Mirror Jade. On a separate chain, we're going to activate Edgem Chain. And we're going to have Pry for Patchwork. Since we haven't used Pry for Patchwork this turn, we're going to activate that. And we'll get our Polymerization and our second Edgem Chain. And this is probably why I am more inclined to go three and three. Three chain and three patchwork. Because this combo is nice. It ends you with two, potentially put two, uh, two um, Masquerades and a Mirror Jade. So now you're probably wondering, how am I going to get Branded in Red set for the end phase? Now, you might think, oh, let's get the Mirror Jade to banish the Luber. No, we're going to polymerize, polymerize, right? And we're going to poly the ad lib and a Luber. Now, you guys might know what a Luber or what ad lib does, right? When it gets used as a fusion material, you can revive any Despia monster from the graveyard or banished. Also, it counts for fusions. So, we're going to make our masquerade we just made our masquerade now we're going to chain our ad lib right so ad lib will special summon our despian tragedy now you're probably wondering why the tragedy so if we do banish this with mirror jade it's fine but if we had banished a luber so special summon a luber and, and banish him his effect to negate your opponent's uh, monsters when one of these fusion monsters leaves the field will activate and it will be able to be a, a sort of interaction for our opponent so now we have a masquerade a mirror jade yes we are prone to super poly that is fine um we're gonna go ahead and mirror jade right activate mirror jade we're going to send our Albion into the graveyard and we're banish tragedy right and then we'll get our branded in red set at the end phase so now not only we do have masquerade and mirror jade we also still have this edgem chain that we can use to get our ad lib to get a luber back in our opponent's main phase or turn what have you so if you really wanted to also you could go for uh chimera if you really wanted to so mirror jade can still do stuff so on our opponent's turn you can activate branded in red and we'll activate or we'll, we'll target our ad lib right and we can either make another masquerade banishing these two and then in turn, we can special summon our Luber from the graveyard right here, get another card from our deck, another branded spell trap, or if you want to disrupt your opponent, you can also go for Chimera and use Mirror Jade and these two in the same turn. So that way he'll revive himself with Adlib's effect and he can pop or he can banish another monster again because he was brought back Chimera will be protected by polymerization so Chimera will be untargetable and it'll be able to pop cards so in this case i think i would go for chimera instead of this other masquerade but it's all up to you 
and if you're playing against combo and you want to hurt them and they have no form of interaction with the other masquerade then they'll just burn their life away and you'll just swing for game on their on your turn so that is the combo that leads us to potentially two masquerade uh and a mirror jade or masquerade mirror jade and a chimera with brandon lost and brandon red all right so we'll see you in the closing thoughts all right guys we're at the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh please consider sub subscribing if you're not already subscribed and liking this video as well i've have definitely enjoyed building this deck over the course of the last four or five months especially when i started in burst of destiny man those were some rough matches like trying to play without the mirror jade stuff and then on top of that having to learn the deck so i do have some piece of advice is that make sure you read i know you go Yu -Gi -Oh players do not like to read but read your cards that way you don't make any misplays and you know basically screw up your game uh, or read read your own cards make sure you're reading them correctly so like in my last video i made a misplay in the test hand with mirror jade and i banished a spell instead of a monster so that's um just me being human and not perfect but as far as everything goes i do think that this is the most consistent version of the deck and yes um adventurer or brave um does protect your deck a little bit better but at the end of the day you only have five cards to open with right so if you're already exposing or not exposing you're already um occupying your ha your opening hand with hopefully a protection instead of you know just full gas or just more gas than than anything i do think that the more combo centric version is better because you can keep playing through the hand traps i know i know for a fact that this format is like pure hand traps like there's hand traps left and right i mean I, we are playing cross out in this this deck version too and personally i'm not a fan of cross out so yeah that's my uh, final thoughts on this video i do promise that i will start making more deck profiles that isn't you know despia or sword soul um i do have some in the works uh we have my favorite of all time Th this deck was what got me started on Yu-Gi-Oh! all over again back in 2018 and that is mech knights specifically invoked mech knights and then i do have um kind of a more of a fun deck it will be tri brigade gladiator beast inspired by you know master duel and then we'll go back into somewhat meta and it's going to be your standard Flawanda Rees deck. And after that, I will have some openings. I will be opening a case of Ghosts from the Past 2 in hopefully mid-month of May. And after that, the next big opening will be in August with Power of the Elements. I'll be opening a case, maybe two. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think down below in the comments. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.